Hi, Joy Kids. Today is February 22nd, Monday, and today's scripture comes from the book of Matthew, chapter 16, verses 1 through 12. The Pharisees and Sadducees came to test Jesus. They asked him to show them a sign. He replied, In the evening you look at the sky. You say it will be good weather. And in the morning you say, Today it will be stormy. You know the meaning of what you see in the sky, but you can't understand the signs of what is happening right now. An evil and unfaithful people look for a sign, but none will be given to them except the sign of Jonah. Then Jesus left them and went away. The disciple crossed over to the other side of the lake. They had forgotten to take bread. Be careful, Jesus said to them. Watch out for the east of the Pharisees and Sadducees. The disciples talked about this among themselves. They said, He must be saying this because we didn't bring any bread. Jesus knew what they were saying. So he said, Your faith is so small. Don't you understand yet? Don't you remember the five loaves for the five thousand? I wasn't talking to you about bread, but watch out for the east of the Pharisees and Sadducees. Then the disciples understood. He was warning them against what the Pharisees and Sadducees taught. Amen. All right, joy kids, go meditate and then come back. All right, welcome back. So today's title is Dangerous Bread. So even before today, right, if you have done um, daily devotions on other days, what happened was that there were a lot of signs and miracles that God, Jesus, showed. Yet, people were still asking for signs. And so Jesus is replying, saying that, you know, when we wake up, and if we look at the weather, we should be able to tell what's going to happen today, right? And so Jesus is saying that, through the weather, we're able to see what is happening right now. And so through what is happening, we should be able to tell what time or what is happening and where the Bible is telling us the current time is. And so Jesus moves on saying that only signs or only miracle that you're going to be seeing is the Jonas sign. And we talked about it before during one of the daily devotions, but the Yonah sign refers to Jesus dying on the cross, and after three days, Jesus will be resurrected. Just like how Yonah spent his time inside the stomach of a fish for three days. And further on, there's something that Jesus says. Jesus says that we need to watch out for the east of Pharisees and Sadducees. And apparently the disciples did not understand anything of what Jesus was saying. But um, throughout the Bible, do you guys know what east does? For those who bake or have parents baking at home, east makes everything very big. Right? It's the one that makes flatbread um, to blow up. To make it big and fluffy. So what East is referring to in the Bible most of the times refers to sin. And that is because even with a small amount of sin, it could be destructive. And with even the amount, small amount of East, it can make it big. And so like sin... Small amount of sin can be destructive, but also it tends to move from one person to the other. It has an influence, right? It makes other people sin as well. So East refers to sin in many times. And during this time, Jesus was telling them to be careful of Pharisees and Sadducees' teachings. Whatever Pharisees and Sadducees say, it's something they have to be careful because, you know, false teachings can be very influential and also it can be destructive. So, you know, in, you know, even today in the world, there are many people who teach false teachings of the Bible. They make up stuff. 
they say some people are Jesus and they're referring to people and they also teach that you know there are no heavens or hell and that is because they are a fake people or fake religion that wants to move people away from Jesus the true word of Jesus and that's something like an east you know there are many people who falls into false or fake religion because the, just like the east false teachings are influencing and people gets very easily attracted to it and yet it is very destructive so when jesus warned people against what pharisees and sadducees are teaching jesus is referring to possible people who are going to make people not believe in jesus christ and so what we need to be careful boys and girls is that we that we will not fall for our pharisees and sadducees teachings and today in this world there is such thing called cults and those are people who read the same bible as us sometimes but they change the ending right they they say that we shouldn't be going into or they say that there are no heaven or hell or they say that the specific person is a jesus and they say that the bible is not fully truth and so we need to be careful that we will not be deceived by false teachings just like jesus warns us so i challenge you boys and girls that is why we are reading the word every day so that every day will be led by the holy spirit and it will guide and teach us the right words of god so we have to stay alert and we have to be discerning and so let me read the potter's will for today the religious leaders ask jesus to do something supernatural but jesus says that they even miss the signs that he is doing right in front of them jesus then leaves to go to the other side of the lake the disciples forgot to bring food and the people are hungry they are able to get some bread, but Jesus turns it into a lot more. So today's question is, what is the East referring to? So what is the East referring to? So comment below. Let me read the prayer. Dear Lord, help me to recognize that I feel I hear false teachings. Help me to be brave and to be able to stand up to them. Dear Heavenly Father, God, God, I want to pray that all joy kids will be led by Holy Spirit by reading the word and really praying to you. And that they will be led by the Holy Spirit to see and recognize false teachings and that they may discern different teachings from your true words, God. God, we thank you so much. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.